I'm Amanda Barrow and today we have an awesome steam symmetrical snowflake challenge and today we're going to do a little bit of art and crafting but we're going to learn a little bit about symmetry and it will end with something like this and this. So what is symmetry? When a shape looks identical to its original shape after being flipped or turned. There are many shapes around us that are symmetrical. Can you think of a few? Here is a picture of a cat, and when divided down the middle, it seems like this is symmetrical. But there are a few features that are different on each side of the cat's face, so that's not perfect symmetry. Here we have a picture of a starfish, and if folded in half, it's symmetrical. And this is a Ferris wheel. Also, each side is identical, split down the middle. There's another important term we need to talk about and that is the line of symmetry. The line of symmetry divides the shape into two identical parts, like the Ferris wheel. The line of symmetry goes in three directions, and we will illustrate this with some perfectly symmetrical snowflakes. The line of symmetry can be vertical. See how the line runs from top to the bottom. If folded in half, each side is still perfectly identical. Also, the line of symmetry can be horizontal. Much like the horizon, this line of symmetry runs from left to right. And again, if you split down the center horizontally, the two sides are still perfect matches. Last, we have a diagonal line of symmetry. As you see on the snowflake, it runs across. And if split down the middle, each side would still mirror each other perfectly. All you need are scissors, blank paper, pencils, and markers. There are a few steps to get the paper ready for sketching on the pattern that will make the snowflake. I will go over each step as I demonstrate the craft. No worries, we've added the steps at the end of the video. First, we need to make a square. Lay out your paper and fold the bottom right side up to form a triangle. There will be a rectangle left unfolded. That's okay, we are going to cut the unfolded paper and the result is a perfect square. We will hold the paper back into a triangle and sketch two more little triangles on each side of the paper. Then we will fold the right side across the center of the large triangle. It should look like this. Next, we will fold the left side over the right, and here are your results. Now, draw a line down the middle of your folded paper, then fold the paper exactly in half. The paper now resembles a rocket. We will draw a line at the top to get rid of the excess paper. You are now ready to draw your snowflake pattern. Make sure to draw on the folded side to ensure your snowflake turns out fantastic. Now I will draw the pattern. To see better, I will trace my outline with a marker. The final step is to begin cutting around your pattern. Be careful. You may want to decorate your snowflake to really make it one of a kind once you're done and be careful in folding your delicate creation. After finishing, we want to challenge you to find or make more unique patterns. This is what Miss Sarah and I will do. We will speed through the process, but don't fret. We include the steps to fold your paper and a picture of the patterns we used at the very end. We are gonna challenge ourselves with some more difficult patterns.
finished products. And as you can see, there's many variations you can do. So create your own, and if you'd like to share, share it to our Facebook page. Also, we have a little slideshow just for you to see and guess our theme. 